All right, so here we are. Um, today is December 17th. It's a Monday night. This is our so terrific, so terrific happy hour. And um, we're going to be talking about um, getting the most out of your goals and how to achieve your goals and, um, and everything. So um, right now on the screen with me is Devon. So I don't know if you can see, but Devon's on the screen and then, um, and then me. But I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, make mine. I'm going to see if I can pin my screen. I should be able to pin my screen. There we go. Pin my video. Okay. So that way it's, it's big for the recording. So everybody can watch the recording and they'll be able to see um, this. So I have my whiteboard here because we're going to use this when I am, but I don't want my um, lights to be in the way. That's very annoying. So but we're going to use the, um, we're going to use the whiteboard to figure this out. So what I have right here, and actually I should down, let me, um, let me do this. I'll share my screen. Okay. And, um, and I'm going to share with you guys the, uh, the flyer for making the magic so that, um, so that we can look at that really quick. So if you want to find out more about the trip, um, just go to Consultants Corner. So you go to Consultants Corner right here, this main page. Click over here on full site and then go to promotions and recognition and scroll down to magic in the making. Okay. This will give you all of the information that you need. So what we want to do is we want to look at the flyer. Okay. So this flyer right here um, tells you, it's right, I have it right here, but it tells you about the trip. And so there's three different levels of the trip. There is level one, which is a trip for four, and you do have the opportunity to buy in additional silver, and I've done that before. Um, and then um, you get three nights at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. Um, you get a $500 travel allowance, so that it does not include airfare tickets. And then you get four three-day park hopper tickets, okay? And then, of course, there is a Pamper Chef exclusive park group event at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon, okay? So that is going to be your level one. For your level two, you're going to get the... Um, you're going to get airfare and transfers um, for the for the um, event. So they'll pay for your airfare, um, or you can take a $500 travel allowance. Um, but that also will include a $225 Disney dining card, which pays for your breakfast or whatever, you know, one meal. <laughs> <laughs> Disney. So, but that is another thing. Then at level three, you get an extra night. Um, you get an extra night, and um, and then you get a little extra on the Disney dining card as well. And um, it says that on that extra night, you have a special park event and dinner. So, um, so that is um, that is uh, that's what's going to be going on for that. So. Um, so that is the plan for earning that. So, um, and then let's see, here are the points. So if you're looking at this, this is the, um, this is what you're going to decide what your points are, what, what level you're going to go for. So as a consultant, um, if you want to go for level one, then you would uh, choose the 56,000 points or the 85,000 points for level two. As a director, you have reduced points by 4,000 for level one and by 5,000 for level two. Okay, so that makes it a little bit um, a little bit easier for you. So. Um, so anyway, so that is so it's almost like getting a bonus of you know, 5,000 points or 4,000 points, um, but, you know, because your points are reduced when you promote to director, okay? Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Planned, planned for this. I thought about it. I thought what I was going to say, and I didn't do the math. <laughs> so let me see if I have the math done 
sure that as I do, because <laughs> the points are exactly the same for last year's trip. So thank goodness. So we're going to look at, um, we are going to look at if you were to do this, I was like, where's my marker? If you were to do the, the um, okay, so let me stop the share. Okay. Stop share. That's what I'm trying to do. Stop share. Zoom share. Stop share. Stop the share. There we go. <laughs> stop it. Okay. So if you were to go for this, let's say you were to go for, um, we'll say consultant, and you were going to get this on sales alone. So this is a consultant. Okay, can you see that? Let me see if I turn this light on. Does that help? Oh yes, immeasurably. All right, so if you are a consultant and you were gonna do this sales only, and you're gonna go for level one, okay? So we'll do level one, which is um, 56,000 points, okay? So that's how we look at this, it's by points. Move this over here, okay? So 56,000 points. So then you would divide it by 12 months. So you're going to divide it by 12 months, okay? Because you want to know how many points you need to have each month, okay? And that equals um, $4,667 in sales per month, okay? So if you are going to earn it on sales alone, then you would be looking at $4,667, okay? So um, there is a consistency bonus in there. So if you're doing that, you're actually going to have, you're going to get 4,000 uh, bonus points. So when you sell $2,000 in three months, there's four quarters in the month. So if you sell $2,000 in January, February, March, and then, uh, then you'll get, a th and then you'll get 1,000 points. If you sell... Um, to a thousand. If you sell two thousand dollars in April, May, June, then you'll get another thousand points. Okay, so you actually have the potential to earn four thousand points. So if we take that fifty-six thousand and minus four thousand, so that's for the consistency. Okay, so that's fifty-two thousand, and then we divide that by twelve. That equals four thousand three hundred and thirty-four per month, okay? That is on sales alone, okay? So if you take the 4,334, so now you have this number right here, okay? So let me, I had an eraser. Let's see where my eraser is. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna look at this. Uh, that's the crappy eraser. <laughs> well, I was completely ready for this. And now, oh, here it is. I was like, now I don't know where my eraser is. I don't know where my thing is. I have this really awesome eraser. It is so good at erasing. Okay. So now we'll look at this again. Okay, so now we'll look at this again because if we need $4,334 in, in sales per month, now we have to break that down into how many shows, okay? So the way you do that is you decide what your show average is. So um, well, I like using the round number of 500 because um, truthfully the company show average is, is higher than that um, but as a you know as a brand new consultant your show average might be around $500 to start off with so if we take this number and we divide it by 500 okay it equals eight and change right 4,334 it equals let's see Okay. 
let's see, 4334 divided by uh, 500 is 8.66. So it's 8.67. Okay, so that is 9. So that means 9 shows a month will get you the trip. Okay, so now you can see why we always say two shows a week will earn you a trip, right? Right, right. Okay, right. so honestly, if you're doing nine shows a month, your average is going to be higher than $500, <laughs> okay? Yeah. It's probably going to be around seven, eight, nine hundred dollars if you're doing two shows a week because you get really good at what you're doing, okay? Right. So, um, so that is on sales alone. All right, now let's look at another, let's look at another way to do this, okay? So that's another way to do it. So another way, oops, I erased the wrong thing up here. Okay. So, if we are a consultant, but we're going to add recruiting in, okay, so we're going to add recruiting in there, okay, so we have 56,000, right, minus 4,000, because we're going to be consistent and sell at least $2,000 every single month, right? So that's going to leave us with 52,000, okay? So we've got 52,000 that we need, okay? So if we have six qualified recruits, which is a recruit every other month, okay, that qualifies, right? Okay, so each recruit, one recruit equals 3,000 3, points. All right, so if we have six qualified recruits, that's 18,000, okay? So now if we subtract 18,000 here, that's six recruits, okay? This is consistency, okay? So we take 52,000 and we subtract the six qualified recruits. That's gonna leave you with 34 thousand points that you would need to do in sales so you divide that by 12 it equals 28.33 per month okay so to earn that first level trip with a combination of sales and six recruits is um is 28.33 a month but I'm also going to remind you, okay, is I'm going to remind you that we're not going to have this many points because if you have six qualified recruits, you're going to be a director, okay? So you will have probably promoted to director. So instead, you're going to have 34,000 and then you're going to subtract 4,000 and that's for because director, okay, because remember how I showed you that it was 56,000 for consultants and 52,000 for directors, right? Right. Okay, now, so we're going to just subtract that 4,000. We'll just subtract it down here rather than doing all this math again, <laughs> okay? Um, and so that's going to equal 30,000. If you divide that by 12, that's a nice, even number. Twenty-five hundred a month. Okay. So divide that by five hundred equals five. That does not even look like a five. Five shows. Okay. So does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So that's to earn that level right there. So basically, what you want to do is you want to take the number. And then um, I always take out the consistency bonus because if you're working to earn a trip, you better be selling at least $2,000 a month, okay? okay. And, then, um, and then 
because that's worth 4,000 bonus points. That's really important. Then right. you want to figure out your recruits, okay? Now, to have six qualify, you need to probably recruit nine, okay? None of us have 100% qualification rate. Um, and then, so recruit six, I mean, recruit nine, qualify six, and then sell $2,500 a month. That's to earn that first level, and you would just take your, it would just take your, um, your airline miles, you would just have to be working. What I would do is I would work on airline miles for the whole year also and save right. up airline miles or use your, or have two cards that have uh, companion tickets or whatever, you know? So, right. um, so that is, that is how you would do that. Okay. That's the first level of the trip. Now, is it unheard of for somebody in their first year to earn the second level or the top level? No, it's not. Okay, and the numbers just look a little bit differently. So if I erase all this, and we'll do the numbers for the level two trip, okay? I like all the extra stuff. I'm probably gonna go for the 150,000. Again, I didn't, I didn't get that this year. I didn't, meet any of, I didn't meet any of my goals this year. I think I said that on my video today. Any of the goals that I set for myself, I did not achieve them. So. And I'm not broken up about it. It just, it is what it is. And I have to reassess and say, okay, well, why? Why didn't I meet any of those goals? Were they too high? Was I not, you know, focused enough? <laughs> okay, what was That's it? That's a lot of you what? That's a whole lot of selling. Yeah. So, I just, I, I, um, one of the things I was talking about today on the video is focus, and I uh, lost focus in uh, March, April, May timeframe, and I couldn't recover from it. Um, it affected my summer and everything, so that's not going to happen this year. <laughs> um, things are going to be different, so, but I always feel a lot of hope at the beginning of the year, so. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to do the second one. We're going to do it from a director standpoint, because if you are going to go for the level two, then you, if you're going to go for level two, then you're going to be a director, okay, because it's going to require a lot, okay, so this is director, oh my gosh, oh, I can't spell, this is director for level two, which is 80,000 points, okay, I think this year when I lost track and I still am going to end up with around 60,000 points. Okay. So close to maybe. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm too far away to, um, I have too many recruits that need to qualify. So, um, and, uh, and otherwise I would have it. <laughs> so, okay. So I think I'll have like 56,000 points. I like, I would have earned it as a, a, a consult. I still had, I still had five recruits qualify, but I needed 10 in my, in my plan. I mean, that was my plan. I needed, when I look at my plan, yeah, I put my plan, I put them on sticky notes, and then I just stick them on top of each other. <laughs> so if I go back to my first plan, I had some director promotions in there as well. Okay. So, all right, so if we're going to go with 80,000 points, and we need 80,000 points, so minus four is 76,000 points, okay? So, two things to think of. One, qualified recruit equals 3,000 points, right? One director equals 6,000 points. So that's when you have someone who promotes underneath you and um, and becomes a director. That actually promotes you as well, but that's 6,000 points if you are able to promote a director. So that's, you know, that's something that I usually factor in. We're not going to factor that in right now, but that's something I usually try to factor in. All right. So we have 76,000 points. So, wow, that's a lot of selling. So, <laughs> So what I would do is I would say, all right, I want to sell $4,000 a month, okay? $4,000 a month is two shows a month, two shows a week, right? Okay? 
if you're doing averages. So what I do, this is where I kind of back it up. So 4,000 times 12. So if I'm doing 4,000 a month times 12 is 48,000, okay? So we'll start this one with sales, okay? Because I have a little, I, have, I feel like I have a lot of control over my sales. And $4,000 means I'm always getting the top amount of commission I can get. You know, I'm maxing out my commission rate. It means I'm doing two shows a week, which means I'm in front of a lot of people, which means, you know, da 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 da, da. okay? Right. So that 48,000 in sales, okay? So 4K times 12 equals 48K, okay? So if we take, If we take 76,000 and we minus 48,000, it equals 28,000. So now, now we have to figure out how many recruits do we need, right? Okay, right. We, we need, right. need 28,000 in recruits. So we divide that by 3,000, okay? And it equals, Nine and one thirds. <laughs> it was nine point three. And what do we do with that? Round it. Round it. <laughs> we round it up. Okay. Right. So we need to get this. Nine we three. need four thousand dollars a month and ten recruits. This will promote us to director, which lowers the points, and we must earn the consistency. Okay? So this rounds out. So Alaska, for example, summer is a challenge, okay? Right. It's just, it's just a challenge because if it's sunny, forget it, man. <laughs> He's going to be around, okay? Yeah. And that's not to say you can't have a really consistent business in the summer. See, I wasn't from Alaska, so my business was the same all year round. I didn't have that. I mean, even though we went and we played a lot in the summer, I didn't have, like Heather, she does, she, she like takes the summer off every year, okay? Right. So I, I didn't ever do that. And, um, and so I, I had that pretty consistent business all along. But she would account for that. She would say, well, I'm going to take my summer off. So she might divide her sales that she needs by nine. Right. Okay. And take that into account or double up in months. So maybe she said, well, I need to have $5,000 in the months that I'm working because I'm not going to be working in these months. Right. So, okay. So those are things you just want to take into account. So I, when I sit down and do this, I have plan A, plan B, plan C. So this would be, this would be my go-to right here to earn this trip four thousand dollars a month ten recruits and then the consistency okay that's gonna get you everything you want okay yep that's basically promoting yourself twice in the year which is good <laughs> well you want to do that anyways you know right um, and so it puts you on track for I mean this and this also this right here this right here this equals twelve hundred dollars in a paycheck, twelve fifty in a paycheck. That'd be nice. Okay, because you get twenty five percent. All right. So it equals twelve fifty in a paycheck. Plus, when you're a um, director, you get overrides on your team and on your own sales. So it's actually more. Your paycheck will probably be closer to around fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. By doing this right here. Sorry, I'm taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So not just looking at the trip. Remember how I talked about focus? Right. Okay. So if you focus on the trip, one of the other things that, I mean, if everything you do is about getting that trip, the other things are going to come. Right. The recruits, you know, you're going to be talk, focusing on the recruits. Like, how do I, how do I share my business? How do I bring people to the point where they want to um, buy the kit? They want to do the business. It's not just about buying the kit. I mean, they have to do the business as well. How do right. I get people to that point? How do I make sure I have my two months in a row booked so that I'm not doing leapfrog and I've always got this? What if in March I'm behind? You don't quit. You just redo the numbers, 
Okay. So more in April. <laughs> every month, every month. That is why I have 10 sticky notes right here. I don't know if you can see this. But yeah. I literally have 10 sticky notes right here. Every month I redid the numbers and put them, can't really see, but I redid the numbers and just put that sticky note on top and then it went on my tracker. Okay. Yeah. And I put it on a tracker where I could see it. All right. And it was really important to me. I had to have those numbers on there. I had to have, had to know what I was doing every single month. Okay. And I would say shoot for a little bit more than just the basic points. Like actually about halfway through the year when I realized I was probably not going to get elite because I didn't want to do what it took to get elite. I was just so off. I was not in a really good place as far as my brain is concerned. So I changed my, instead of going for 150,000, I changed my goal to 100,000, 100,000 points. Because then I knew if I would get that 100,000 points, I would definitely get that trip. Okay. Right. Still ended up shy. Um, I didn't my I, you know I had a I didn't have a good you know brain mental year <laughs> so um, so anyway so that is how you get that now I will say I have never not earned a trip <laughs> right I have never not earned a trip because except for the first year I didn't I didn't know I joined in February and I didn't know I didn't know I could earn a trip I was so close I was like twenty five hundred points away from earning a trip. Uh, <laughs> So After she needs me. If she does, I'll have to cut it short. Okay. So, yeah. Sorry. No, yeah, that's okay. To my kid. <laughs> that's totally okay. So that is how you. Or that's how you figure out the math to earn a trip. Now, figuring out the math to break down a financial goal is no different. Okay. Hey, so hey, if you have a debt that you want to pay off, you have a target date for when you want to pay off that debt. Okay. Oh, uh, I know you're recording this, but I've got to go. Um, okay. My kid is inside, so I'll catch the rest of the recording later. Yeah, perfect. Thank, thank you. Sure. See you later. Bye-bye. Right. So for the rest of you guys that are watching, so that was a little bit about Disney and earning the Disney trip. And if you are wanting to go for a trip, there's nothing bad that can happen by going for a trip. Nothing. Nothing bad can happen because what it does is it just makes you better, okay? It makes you better, it gives you focus, okay? Uh, there have been trips that I earned that I knew I wasn't gonna be able to take, okay? When I lived in Germany, the trips were like during our spring break, and we had a week, and we lived in Europe, and I'll be damned, I was not coming back to go on a cruise to the Bahamas, or to go to Austin, Texas. I grew up in Austin, Texas. <coughs> While that would have been really awesome, was not coming back for three days to go to that trip when it was our spring break in Europe. So I knew that I was going to have to take the money. Okay. And that's okay. I knew that. I still worked really hard to get the $900 because that's what you get with the, the first level of the trip. You get $900 and um, when you take the, all, the cash award. And the second year, that's what I used to buy my dog. <laughs> so, so my dog is a little paper chef dog. So, Watson, you guys have all seen him. All right, so let me talk about how you can take a goal and break it down so that you can earn. So if you have a goal, a financial goal, okay? Let me move my chair out of my so I'm over. If you have a financial goal, because that's another kind of goal that a lot of people have, okay? So whether your financial goal is you need to have um, X number of dollars to plan for your retirement, Maybe um, you're like me, you're, I'm almost 50, and I need to start thinking about my long-term care and things like that, okay? Or maybe you want to have um, money that goes for your retirement, or maybe you have kids that are going to be going up and going to college, and you need to know how much that costs. I will tell you from experience, if they go to a state school, it's going to cost you approximately twenty dollars to $25,000 a year, depending on the school. In the state of Florida, room and board plus um, 12 to 18 hours a, a semester is about $20,000 a year. <laughs> that's how much it costs, okay? So if you multiply that by four or five, that's eighty dollars to $100,000 that you need to set aside for your kids to go to college if you're gonna pay for that, or for yourself to go to college if you're gonna pay for that, okay? Or, okay, the other thing is that you might want to save for your retirement or you might want to save for a particular vacation. Okay, so let's 
use debt. Okay, so I really like to use debt as a goal because the, they say the average consumer has $15,000 in credit card debt. Oh, okay, if any of you guys have credit card debt, I would like to help you get rid of your credit card debt and then don't use your credit cards. <laughs> okay, so credit card debt is bad, 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 bad because the interest rate is so high. Okay, but that has nothing to do with me. Um, but I wanted to help you get out of that. With the day that you pay off those credit card bills should be a giant celebration. So if you have credit card debt, let's just use that as an example, okay? Nobody's on here, so nobody has to say, me, that's me, okay? Um, so we're gonna say you have $15,000 in credit card debt. Now, I understand compound interest and all of that other stuff, and this number's just gonna keep getting bigger every month, okay? I understand that. So, um, we're gonna say you have 15,000, but in order to pay it off in a certain amount of time, we're gonna round it to 20,000, okay? Because you're still gonna be paying interest, unless you can combine your credit cards and get a lower interest rate, you're gonna pay it down. You're gonna to have to pay that extra interest while you're paying it off, okay? So our goal is to get this paid off as soon as possible. We're gonna round up to 20,000 so that we make our plan and, it, and everything, we have a really good um, plan that goes with this, okay? Does that make sense, you guys? All right, I hope so. I hope you're nodding at home. So if you have $20,000 that you need to pay off and you say, I want to pay that off in a year, okay? You wanna pay that money off in a year. What do you need to do, okay? So $20,000, of course, we're going to take it and divide it by 12 because that's one year. All right, I have my calculator here. Um, for those of you who didn't know, my major in college was history. I'm very good at math, but I've lost confidence over the years. I'm good at estimations. So that is, that is not the right number. 20, okay, 20,000 divided by 12 is 1666 a month, okay? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. If you wanna make $1,666 a month, how are you gonna do that, okay? Now I just gave you an example, okay? When you sell $4,000 a month, you're gonna make 1250. That's gonna be your commission, straight up. Now you always wanna have a little bit of money to go back into your business. So when you sell $4,000 a month, you're gonna have about $1,200 a month to put towards your debt, okay? So four, thousand dollars in sales equals 12.50 in commission okay so if you just take this 50 minus 50 to go back into your business for catalogs that kind of thing then that is going to be 1200 take home okay 1200 take home all right so that's going to be 1200 to put into that right there so there's two things you could do. You could say, all right, $1,200, I can do that. I can, I can pay $1,200 a month towards my, um, towards my goal, um, and that's just gonna take a little bit longer, okay? How long is it gonna take? It's probably gonna take 16 or 17 months, okay? You know how I know that? Because 1,212 and 16, <laughs> okay? So it's gonna take 17 months that way. So if you paid this, then it's gonna take 17 18 months. Is that acceptable? You want to pay that off in 17 months, this number might be a little bit bigger, okay? Your other option is to build a team, okay? As you build a team, then that's going to increase your paycheck, okay? Maybe not right away. So maybe right away you're putting $1,200 on, then you go to make up that difference to get caught up, okay? So when you look at this and then you say, oh, well, I know if I just sell, I can put in $1,200 a month. And I'm not limiting you to $4,000 by any means. If you sell $6,000 a month, in, in three months, you'll earn the 2% permanent commission raise. Did you know that? So you are gonna earn $1,500 at first, but if you sell 6,000, you're gonna earn 1,500 in commission. That's at first, but when you earn that permanent commission raise of 2%, you actually will be getting 1620 with the permanent commission raise. 
So that actually, without even recruiting a person or building a team, $6,000 in sales is going to put you closer to that number. Okay. What if you're like, well, Jennifer, I, I'm not interested in doing that. I work a full-time job. I'm going to tell you, you can do it. There's lots of people in the company that do it. But if you're not interested in that, you tell me how many you want to do. You want to do one show a week. Okay. So now we'll look at this. Okay. We're going to take this right here and we're going to look at this. We've got $20,000 in debt that we need to get rid of. Okay. We're going to leave it at that round number because um, that's probably just a good estimation, even if it takes you a little bit more time. Okay. So if we have $20,000 of debt and you tell me, Jennifer, I can only do one show a month. So one show a week, I mean, one show a week. Okay. So you can only do one show a week. Average of the company is 500. That equals $500 in sales a week. Okay, times four is $2,000 in sales a month. Okay, that's, that's not a bad rate, okay? And again, if you're doing shows every week, your um, average is gonna go up, but we're gonna stick with these numbers for the, ex the point of this exercise. Again, you're gonna reevaluate every month. You're gonna, at the beginning of the month, you're gonna say, okay, where am I at? Am I on track? Do I need to readjust? So let's say we have $2,000 that we're making in, in sales, this is sales, okay? So you earn a commission raise at 750, you get a 2% commission raise, okay? At 1250, you get another 1%, which is 3% total. At 2500, you get another 1%, which is 4% total. And at 4000, you get that 5%, okay? That makes sense? So this makes this 22, 23, 24, 25. All right? That's your percentage of your commission. So with $2,000 in sales, we follow right here at 23. So we'll multiply that by 0.23. It's $460 times 0.23 is 460. Again, you're going to want money to go back into your business for catalogs and other things. So we'll just subtract um, $25, okay? And so that is $435, okay? So $435 into $20,000. How long is that going to take? 45 months. Okay, that's like the, as long as it takes to pay off a car. Okay, does that make sense? Oh, you wanna get a car? Payment around $500. You need to sell about $2,500 a month. Okay, does that make sense to you guys? Okay, I hope it makes sense. So the key is you start with your goal and you figure out what you need to do from that. So what's your goal? $20,000 in this much time. Or if you're looking at a car payment, okay? If you're looking at a car payment and you know that car payment is going to be around $500 a month or $600 a month, depending on what kind of car you're buying. If you're buying a car that's going to be around $600 a month and you can't afford it, then you should buy a smaller car. Just saying. <laughs> this is coming from me. I have no debt, okay? So I, that's why I talk like this because I have no debt. Um, and we paid for our kids' college in cash because of my business. And so I'm super, super passionate about this. I don't think I, that is a great American problem. All right, so let's say, I don't need these numbers. This is not part of our evaluation here. Okay, so let's say you wanna buy a car and your car is going to be $500 a month. Because your car is a beater and you need a new car and it's gonna cost you $500 a month for this car. And so you're like, okay, I need to save up for a down payment, then I need to be able to have my car. So the first thing is I need a $3,000 down payment, okay? And if we're gonna go with the payment, the car is gonna cost me $500, so we'll divide it by 500. This is gonna be six months, okay? So 
Now, how do we get to this $500 a month? Okay, so you're gonna be doing your, com your commission rate. Okay, so let me think for a second on my backwards math. Oops. Oops, that's not right. Okay, that's right. <laughs> All right, so for if you want a $500 payment, I have always said you need to sell $2,500 a month. Okay, why? Because $2,500 a month, okay? And, and you can do the math on this. I mean, I could teach you the math. Told you guys I was good at math, but um, 2,500 times 0.24 because you'll be earning um, the 2% for 750, the 1% for, for 1250, and the extra 1% for, um, for reaching 2,500. So that's 24%, and that equals 600. Okay? Then you have $600 a month. You can save some and put it into your car. Uh, you can put it back into your car, or you can you can put some into your business. But twenty five hundred dollars is about four to five show, four to six shows a month. Okay, we'll get you that. that will get you a car payment. Okay. What else will twenty five hundred dollars a month get you? A trip. Okay. Um, twenty five hundred dollars times twelve is thirty thousand points. Okay. So. 2,500 times 12 is 30,000 points. That leaves you with what? 50,000 minus 30,000. Okay. Leaves you with 20,000, right? Minus 50,000, right? Oops, 52. Okay, so that is 22,000. And then what else happens in there? You guys remember? Consistency minus 4,000 is 18,000. If you take 18,000 and you divide it by 3,000, it's six. All right? So while you're going for your car, you can earn a trip. All right? If you're selling 2,500 and you build a team, your commission is actually more than this. It's 27%. Okay, so you have more money coming in. You can pay off that car faster. You can set aside for something else. Those kind of things. All right, put it back in your business. So um, that is how you do it. It's very simple. Um, you just start with your goal in mind and you work your way backwards. And if you're focused on one thing, the other stuff will come, okay? So what I want you guys to do, um, if you're watching this, obviously, if you're watching this, um, I want you to do the dream. I want you to make the dream. I want you to, if you had no restrictions and nothing to stop you, what do you want to happen? What do you want to be your biggest accomplishment this year? I've already told you, if something happens and you don't get it, it's not the end of the world. This is what your best imagination of yourself would be. I've already told you, I didn't get my dreams this year. I didn't get my goals this year. Even after I adjusted them at the six month point, I, I still didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve this year. And, um, and that's okay. I made some decisions that I decided to focus on some other things and that's okay. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to dream big and I want you to put no filters on it and no restrictions on it. I want you to think about what you would want and I want you to think about how you would feel when that happens. Okay. And then next week, um, probably on the 28th or the 29th, I haven't decided we're going to do a vision board party. Okay, we're gonna do it on Zoom, and you're gonna be looking at like the floor of my office like this, and we're gonna be making a vision board. I'm gonna get my girls to come in here and do it with me. So I want you to start collecting magazines, um, ask your friends for magazines, and I want you to get yourself a poster board, and I want you to dream big because that's what we're gonna to do towards the end of the year. 
um, it's going to be really important that you put these things together and you create this desire and you create this dream and you create this vision for yourself and for your future. Okay, so mark your calendars. Let me know if a Friday morning or a Saturday morning is better. I'm guessing a Saturday morning is probably going to be a better day for you. Okay, um, and we'll just do it for a couple of hours. And then the other thing is I want you to mark your calendars for January 2nd. And um, January 2nd, I am going to be going to the Rachel Hollis Made for More video movie okay on um on the, in the movie theater where i live okay and it's playing where you live also and i'll send i'll post the link but i want you guys to um go out and pre-purchase your tickets and plan to go um on january 2nd to rachel Haas's made for more movie grab some friends grab your sister grab your mom um, grab somebody that you'd like to do this business with and you guys go together and then we'll get back together the next week on our happy hour, which will be um, on the 7th. Okay, so on the 7th, we'll actually have a discussion. Okay, we'll talk about the Made for More movie and um, what it what it was for us, okay? So it, we'll either do the discussion on the 7th or the 14th. I haven't decided yet. So I haven't really decided how our... Um, how our meetings are going to go next year. Um, I've been playing with some things this fall and some of them are working and some of them are not. So we're just going to see, <laughs> but we're going to have a discussion afterwards. So you can go on the second, you can go on the ninth. I'm going on the second. I would love you guys to go at the same time as me, but if you can't go on the second, go on the ninth. Okay. And then we'll do our discussion. We'll probably do our discussion after that on the 14th. So that everybody has the opportunity to go. All right. So I hope you guys have a great uh, week. A very Merry Christmas to you, and um, I want to chat with you about your dreams and your goals, and so when you sit down and you pick out your big goal, let's talk and figure out a pathway. Um, I want you to take time to try and figure it out yourself, um, but I can definitely help you, and so if you don't believe I can help you, ask Jessica Dunn, helped her achieve her goal. She's almost there. She hasn't quite gotten it, but she's almost there. You don't want to give up on yourself. You don't want to quit believing in yourself. Um, you can do these amazing things when you put your mind to it. All right? Have a great evening and a Merry Christmas, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.